Whoa, huh? Yeah, you didn't expect that, huh? Yeah. Uh, this is called muscle wood huh? or iron wood. Iron. Yeah. Iron, iron wood, wood yeah. huh? Yeah. This is strong wood. All right. All right. It said that it will make your axe dull if you try to yes. cut it down. Yeah. 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 It really does. It feels like a, a really well-toned muscle, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're in pursuit here of the only hawthorn tree that grows on my land. <laughs> How it has managed to survive the goats for all of this time, I don't know. But I can only tell you, so far as I know, it hasn't grown a bit in 35 years. Mm -hmm. It was this big when I moved here. It's been pretty much this big all the time since. That's a this, this is. Oh, oh, my. Well, it's actually uh, about as big as it gets. Are there thorns on it? Yes. Yes. Yes, indeed. See the thorns? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. See, these are big. There are big thorns on here. Check it out up here. I mean, really big, vicious thorns on this tree, huh? <laughs> yeah. Right. This is a hawthorn. It's often considered to be more of a shrub than a tree. The genus is Crataegus, and there are over 50. Species of hawthorn that are grown or grow wild, all of which are used exactly the same. So it has thorns, yes? I mean, and some of these thorns are like almost two inches long, right? Some pretty heavy duty thorns on this tree. And what's its name? Haw thorn. So what else should we look for? Haws. Haws. <laughs> A haw is another name for a hip, like a rose hip. All right, the Crataegus genus is in the Rosaceae family. The rose family, which gives us not only all of those beautiful roses, but the vast majority of non-tropical fruits. Can anyone name a fruit from a tree in the rose family? Apple. 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 Yeah. <laughs> How about some other ones? Uh, Peach. Peaches, yes. Peaches are in the rose family. Pear. Pears yeah. are. Pears are, yes. Pears are, <laughs> are trees in the rose family. Are figs? Figs are not. Almonds. Almonds. Are trees in the rose family? Almonds. Yes, <laughs> almonds. <laughs> Let's have some more. Plums. 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 Hey. <laughs> and how about something that's like a peach but smaller? Oh, nectarines. And nectarines and apricots. And strawberries. Huh? And raspberries. And cherries. <laughs> These are all rose family plants. Do they really provide most of the non-tropical fruit that we eat? Yeah, not blueberries and not cranberries. Those are different. Those are vacciniums, all right? But raspberries, blackberries, uh, and then all the other, you know, kind of things that look like those that we have, strawberries, peaches, plums, Apricots, almonds, cherries, pears, apples. It's a huge family. And of course, crab apples and roses and rose hips and haw thorns. So the haws are the fruit of this tree. Depending on the specific cultivar, you will get a haw anywhere from the size of our wild rose hips, which are pretty small, to the size of a cultivated oh crab apple which can be fairly large. I, too, take hawthorn 
tincture made from the dried haws on a daily basis. Or at least every day I think about it. Um, you, you had tremendous, amazing. Do you want to? Oh, yeah. yeah. My blood pressure was like in the 180s, 160s over 80, 90s, basically. Very high. They wanted me to start on an Alipril, and luckily my doctor worked with me, and I said I'd like to try some herbal remedies before I... She gave me time. Every week I was supposed to take my blood pressure. And it was a gradual, it didn't happen right. like this, but it was a very gradual decrease. And now, I mean, the last time I went to the doctor, my blood pressure was like 118 over 68 or something like that. I am like, wow. <laughs> it even, even when I get, I hear it, I'm like, really? <laughs> you know, I, I, I should be more confident, but I mean, it's just like amazing to me. I am just, look. Yeah. <laughs> look. <laughs> It, it, and it tastes good, too. Oh, it does. Hawthorne Mary Tincture tastes wonderful. So this is the right time of the year to actually find the haws. Right. If you're anywhere where there's bigger, better Hawthorns than here. <laughs> I was buying some eggs at a, a local farm, a farm that's been here in this area for hundreds of years. And the older farmer, now dead, um, came up to me and told me that he had had um, some surgery on his heart. And they wanted to put him on a blood pressure medication, and he refused to take it. In his own words, he said, they killed my mother with their drugs. They killed my father with their drugs, and I'm not taking them. Okay. And I said, and they wanted you to take drugs. He says, my blood pressure. I said, oh, well, that's easily dealt with. Right up there in the hill is a hawthorn tree. And you can actually use any part of that hawthorn. You can make an infusion from the leaves or the leaves and flowers, which is commercially available. Or we can harvest the haws and we can make a tincture from the haws. Um, or we could make an infusion from the haws. He looked at me and he said, well, you know, Susan, I've spent most of my life trying to kill that tree. <laughs> <laughs> he says it's right in the middle of the hayfield. And I can't tell you. The curses I have sent to that tree and the amount of energy that I have sent trying to kill it, he said, I just don't think it's going to help me. And I said, you're probably right. You're probably right. If you have spent your entire... And of course, he was born in the farm, grew up in the farm, and he was now quite an old man. I said, if you spent the vast majority of your life trying to kill this tree, it probably won't help you. And I looked at my feet and what was growing right there next to his door, but motherwort. Your other best choice for heart health. And about a month later, I was there buying eggs again, and he comes up to me with this big grin on his face, and he says, Those doctors don't know what to make of me. He said, My blood pressure is just fine, and they say it's impossible. Once I've had the surgery I had to have fine blood pressure without drugs. And I said, I hope you didn't tell them. He said, Oh, no, I would never tell them. <laughs> I had to actually not talk to them about being an herbalist, although I had bought eggs from them for decades. But uh, there was a little thing about me in uh, some woman's magazine, which she subscribed to. And she saw it, and the gig was up. She said, you're an herbalist. <laughs> I said, yep, okay. <laughs>